In this video, we're going to walk through the RAM Tough Charge with XGrip technology. We're going to show you how the wireless charger works and also best practices for installing this in any outdoor open cockpit environment. And that involves ensuring the best waterproof connection by applying silicone grease to the USB type A connector here. It's important to note that these holders do have a one year warranty, but in order to qualify for warranty, you have to follow the steps that are shown in this video, which we'll be covering here. Now the holder also comes with an optional tether for any outdoor or rugged use. You have a USB type A extension cable, a silicone sleeve for the USB connection to also help out with that waterproofing. And also, as you can see, the holder has a bottom leg support here for supporting the bottom of your phone. But if you are not using that support, there's also an optional blocker that can fill the hole that's at the bottom of the holder. So the way the power works with these wireless chargers is that when it is connected to power, the LED light will be red on here. And when you connect the device, it may either toggle back and forth briefly or it will become green when it makes contact with the holder. Now, as long as it's red, that means the holder is detecting power but not charging your device. And when it's green, that means that it is detecting power and is also charging the device. If it's ever flashing red, there could be a troubleshoot issue, which we'll be addressing later in this video. But as you can see, it's that simple as far as just opening the arms up, lay the device against the holder, and then you release to secure in position to get the proper charge to your phone. Now, the holder also has a toggle button on the side here. And this allows you to disconnect power to the holder without having to unplug your USB connection. So by simply clicking on the button, that immediately turns off the power. So just a nice and easy on and off, and then turning it back on may toggle back and forth between green and red, and then it will be back on green again. And once it is on green, then it will be charging your phone again. Now, depending on the size of the phone, it's important to align the phone with the triple coils of the wireless charger properly so that every time you lay it inside, it will maintain that same connection. And this bottom support allows you to do this. By having the support in the configured position, you can see on the back, you can actually loosen the screw and adjust the support up and down. And this will allow you to consistently put the phone in in the exact same position so that the wireless charger is always aligned properly with the device. Now, depending on the size of the phone, some phones might be too large for the support, in which case you can remove this bottom support entirely and replace with the bottom support leg cover option instead. Now, the RAM Tough Charge with XGrip technology does come with this optional tether, and this is recommended for any outdoor open cockpit environments where you simply route the center of the tether around the back of the ball, and then you wrap the four corners of the tether around the four corners of the phone, just like this. Now, when it comes to mounting your wireless charger in any outdoor or open cockpit environment, we always recommend using silicone grease on the USB connection to achieve the best waterproof solution. Now, to do that, you use the included silicone sleeve here, and you first wrap around the male end of the cable, just like this. And then next, you want to roll the sleeve back, and this is gonna roll over the other end after we have applied the grease. Once you have that rolled back, you're then gonna take the female end, which is hardwired onto the motorcycle here, and you're gonna be applying the silicone grease to the female port. Simply apply the silicone grease right along the outside of the port, just like that. Use any excess grease necessary. Make sure you really fill the port up and coat the entire outside. You want to cover any exposed metal to the silicone grease and just coat it with your finger or with your thumb and make sure it's well coated. Next, you take the male end and you do the exact same thing. You apply silicone grease to all sides of the male USB type A connector, just like this. Then just using your finger or thumb, spread the grease all around, make sure all exposed metal is fully covered with the silicone grease. Once both ends have been thoroughly coated with silicone grease, you then connect the two ends together. You'll see some excess grease come out. You want to disconnect and reconnect three to five times, and this helps spread the grease even further and gets it in the smallest corners, just like that, nice and easy, and really distributes the silicone grease perfectly. Finally, you take the rolled up part of the sleeve and just roll it back around the outer housing just like this, so it's evenly spread throughout. So now you have the silicone sleeve covering both halves of the port and well greased up with silicone grease for the most enhanced waterproof connection. As you can see with the silicone grease and the sleeve covering this, you now have a fully protective waterproof connection. And now as you can see here, putting in the wireless charger, everything is well connected and ready for any open cockpit or outdoor use. 
Now, whether it be for the RAM Quick Grip or the RAM Tough Charger with X-Grip technology, if you're having any connection issues of the charger to your phone, there are a few troubleshooting steps that we recommend, which we'll be covering right now. The first thing to check for is to make sure you have a reliable power source. So if you have this power to your vehicle, perhaps using a direct USB port connection or using a CLA adapter, we also recommend connecting to an alternate power source, such as a wall charger against a wall, just to see if there is any difference in power depending on the power source that's going to the charger. If you're seeing consistent performance between different types of chargers, then you know that the charger has nothing to do with any troubleshooting issues. The second item to check for is whether or not the case on your phone could be contributing to the problem. So the wireless chargers, we rate them to support cases up to six millimeters in thickness. It's a matter of how thick the case could be that could disrupt the distance of the wireless charger to the phone. And so we recommend removing the case from your phone and then connecting to your wireless charger to see if that improves the connection at all. If it does, then that would indicate that the case has been, is uh, contributing to the problem. And then the third option to consider is simply the power requirements of your phone. So in addition to the physical fitment of the phone in the holder, it's important to note the charging requirements. These wireless chargers will support up to 10 watts of power output. Now some phones out there might require greater than 10 watts, and if it is greater than 10 watts, you might see some slow charging or intermittent charging that could occur. So that could be an issue as well as compatibility. And so it's very important to follow the compatibility models that are listed on RamMount.com when considering what phones will and will not work with these holders. For any troubleshooting tips or questions beyond this, we highly recommend going to RamMount.com support, reach out to our team, and we'll gladly help you out.